Hi, and welcome back to That Girl's Quilting Threads and Things. This week we're going to put together a block that incorporates a four patch block into a nine patch. This is a Star of Beauty or a Thrifty Block variation. So come and join me and we'll build this block together one stitch at a time. Let's go! So I've already cut out the fabric pieces that are going to make up our subcomponents. All right, so we have two, eight of each of the white, um, two and a half by two and a half, eight each of the red, two and a half by two and a half. We have our center piece at four and a half by four and a half, and then we have these two um, larger squares. Now these two larger squares are cut at seven and a half by seven and a half. And the, um, this size was calculated so that I could make four half square triangles at one time using um, a single, basically using one method. And the formula for determining what your start size is, if you want to make it, uh, make your half square triangles, is basically you're going to take your uh, finished size and you're going to add one half inch. And then when you add your one half inch, that's for your seam allowance, and then you're going to divide that by 0.64. And that end result is basically your um, the size of square that you'll need to start out with. Now, you can add an extra eighth of an inch or an extra quarter of an inch to give you a little bit of wiggle room when you're squaring up those um, half square triangles. So what we're going to do is now we're going to put um, these pieces together to make our subcomponents, which for these two pieces, this is going to be the half square triangles. So I'm going to put these two right sides together, nice, uh, line them up nicely. I'm going to take and pin them. So I'm going to pin, just put a couple pins in to keep the, um, to keep the fabric in place. All right. Okay. That's prepped up for sewing around the edge. And then the other component that we're going to make, aside from the half square triangles, is our, um, what I would call a postage stamp. So. All right, so this basically we're going to make little four patches. Okay, and we're going to make four of these and these will go in the four corners of our block. So let's go ahead and take these to the sewing machine and get our sub components put together. Okay, so we've got one quarter inch seam allowance coming down the side. Okay, that one is ready to cut. Right sides together. We're just going to chain piece these. Okay, cut these apart. We're going to give them a finger press. And 
we're going to press everything towards the dark side. All right, just simply open it up, dark side on top, give it a nice finger press. That's all that it needs. All right, open it up, roll it, and press. All right, trying not to stretch the fabric. Using your fingernail does a good job. And finger pressing actually just helps, um, well one, it's going to set us up for success when we are uh, matching these pieces together um, so that we can have nice uh, nested seams. which make for nice points. So when we talk about nested seams, so on this bottom, this will be the bottom half and this will be the top half, all right? And the fabric is folded over this way and the fabric for the red is folded over this way. And when you put them together like this, you can kind of see there's a, like a, a, a paddle, a butterfly, a butterfly um, look and so this seam will go this way this seam will go this way all right and when you pinch those two together you can kind of feel them lock into place so it's like a tongue and groove if you will okay and then when that's nested like that that's going to give you some very nice matching points when you put that together all right so let's go ahead and finish putting these subunits together We'll cut this up and we'll start the assembly process. All right, at the seam. Now make sure the bottom half lines up. Continue chain piecing these. When we look at our nested seams and we talk about the points, see how well the, those two points come together between the red and even the whites? So that's what, when we nest our seams, that's what we're, we're striving for. So first we're going to go ahead and cut these on the diagonal and then we'll take everything to the pressing station and come back and lay out the block for its final assembly. Let's go ahead and line this up and cut corner to corner. Open that up corner to corner. So now we have our four half square triangles. So if we open it up, we can roll it back. We can do a quick finger press. All right, let's go ahead and take this to the, ta uh, to the pressing station. Let's press. So 
set the scene. And the reason why we set the seam is um, before we press it is it helps to um, it helps the fabric when you actually open it up. It helps it um, lay flatter. Okay, we are now ready for block assembly. I'm going to go ahead and lay it out here on the pressing station so you can see what's going on. So we have the four corners and we have the center block. Okay. And we want we want it to be this way. There we go. So the darker fabric will make an X. All right. And then we have our friendship star. Do we want that? We want that. And to always make sure I get it right, rotate it. Rotate it. Rotate it. Okay. There we go. So now our block is laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and square these up and then I'm going to go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and put it all together. Okay, when I do that, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to assemble these two putting on the right sides together, these two putting them right sides together, and then these two putting them right sides together. Okay. I will just chain piece those together and then I will start again and I will add this to that, repeating the step all the way down. And then once my rows are attached, or come, once my rows are put together, then I'm going to attach the top row to the middle row and then the bottom row to the middle row. Okay, pressing. Pressing is quilter's choice. So. If you look at this, we have no seams that we need to match, right? So except for these right here, okay? These are what's kind of needs to match up. So we want to do our best to align those. So it doesn't matter if you do open seams. Um, many people have different preferences. So again, this is quilter's choice, right? So let's go ahead and square these up and put our block together. All right, so I need these squares to be four and a half by four and a half. So how am I gonna do that? Very easy. So my ruler has a, let's see, my ruler has a diagonal line, a 45 degree line. I'm gonna take this 45 degree line, well, I'm gonna go from this one right here. So I'm gonna take this 45 degree line and I am going to make sure that it is aligned with this diagonal line here. And then I'm gonna make two cuts on each square. Okay, and that square is going to, uh, I'm gonna make sure that that's there. And so the first is I'm trying to get a true edge. So I know I need my block to be four and a half by four and a half. So I'm gonna make sure that I have plenty of wiggle room when I make my second cut. So the first cut is to, is to give me my true corner and the second cut is to square it down. All right, so that's the first one. Do it again. Now I'm gonna line it up at the four and a half inch mark and I'm gonna take right where, if you can see that, right where the four and a half and the four and a half line meet, which is right here. Okay, I'm gonna put that right in the very bottom corner here. That's my intersect. And that's gonna give me my four and a half by four and a half square. And again, that 
diagonal line is going to line up right with that diagonal seam and cut. And there we have four and a half by four and a half. Now I cut this way on the top because it's easier for me. I have a tendency to have a hard time to start and go this way. Um, I tend to nick these corners um, and, and I don't like to do that. So it's just easier for me to do that way. And that's the beauty of quilting is that people, when, as they're learning and growing their quilting, they find and discover ways that make it easier for them. And these are the things that work for them. So there's no right way and there's no wrong way. It's quilter's choice. Let's lay out our block one more time to make sure that I have everything in its proper place already. We want the darker squares to make the diagonal pattern. And that's another beautiful thing about um, quilting is that you can flip a block one direction and it changes the whole appearance. Okay, so we have that, we have that, we have that, all right, that looks much better and we're ready. All right, so our first two blocks, right sides together. Okay, now we're ready to do a quick finger press. Okay, so finger press, I think uh, these will go to the outside. All right. Then this row will go to the inside. And do a quick finger press that way and then now these will go to the outside all right and we are now ready to attach our rows is finished our thrifty block star of beauty variation all right so I just want to highlight the nested seams technique is what helps us get these nice matching points that you see here in the corners 
So I'm very pleased with how they turned out. Okay. Also, I enjoyed making this block so much, I made a second block. This one is a six inch block. All right. And I think it really highlights the point where when you take one unit and you change how that unit is put into the block. So here it looks as though it's being um, encircled. Whereas here we have kind of like an X shape. But the components are all the same. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope that you got something out of it. I know that I did and I enjoyed making both of these blocks. They were so much fun put together. I look forward to the next video with you guys. And remember, enjoy the journey and take it one stitch at a time.